the Bingle WB have uh, got their riders there thereabouts. Kenneth Van Roy in front of Malicelli. He's going to try and look after Malicelli's number 93. The left-hand side, they own the most important and the most popular wheel in the bunch right now. Huge effort made by Van Roy just to try and dive bomb with the... Uh, turns to come very shortly. Van Roy gets the front. Uh, Manicelli decided not to go with him, decided I couldn't, and has uh, decided to track Jasper Philipson. Everyone wants that wheel. The trouble is, everyone's quiet around you. It's not that easy to keep it. And Jasper Philipson, second in line here, finds himself very close to the front, maybe closer than he would like just yet. So we're into the winding, twisting conclusion and into the final kilometre and a half as... Uh, the GC times have been taken and the GC riders will be uh, not involved here as it's a winding, twisting conclusion to the day. Uh, it's all about trying to command it and the Q36.5 squad want to try and take over. A late push for glory. And it would be a remarkable thing if Matteo Moschetti could uh, hang on from here. Alvaro Hodge comes with a run up the outside. Jasper Philipson tries to get involved as well. And everyone knows from the Nico Den's uh, stage win that staying up front and the winding technical conclusion is absolutely key. Hodge finds himself in the unloved position of leading this one out into the closing stage. There's still a 1,000 metres left, but, uh, well, track position is everything here, isn't it? To borrow a phrase from a different sport, muscling around the outside, the Astana squad get uh, get back into prime position, get solely presenting his man Case Ball, and that was a nice piece of work there. This is uh, more like crit racing, isn't it? The conclusion to this eighth and final stage into the final moments. Case Ball's picking up on the wheel of Jasper Philipson in turn. He's got Malicelli, a little bit of a Scandinavian flick into the left-hander to take them up and into the concluding moments as Malicelli has a little look over. Catoli has a little look over to see exactly what uh, Philipson is doing, more particularly for his teammate. Uh, Case Ball is, and Lonardi has got himself into prime position as well. Good job being done by Malicelli from the big old WP team. And they're all crowding around, waiting to launch. Looks to me like Nico Denz has decided to move up. Matt Wall's not so much in evidence for the Bora Hansgro squad. Alvaro Hodge trying to pick up for Malicelli, but it is leading into the closing moments of this stage. It's Jasper Philipson that's going to get on the pedals first and go for glory. Will Case Ball be able to come around him? He's got to go again and again and again because they're not going to give it to him, but it is going to be a fourth victory of the week. Remarkable stuff as Jasper Philipson delivers. What about that? And that's what the crowd have come to see. The green jersey delivering another stunning sprint success. It was almost too easy, wasn't it? He, uh, he sprinted, opened up an initial gap, looked over his shoulder, realised that he wasn't going to be given it on a plate. Nonetheless, that's as comfortable as it gets. And it was wonderful positioning, huge power, massive strength, and a fourth victory of the week for Jasper Philipson. Well, uh, hand claps all round and celebrations too from Alexei Lutsenko, who will be fated and brought to the winner's podium very shortly to collect the final jersey of the week, the all-important turquoise jersey, a winner of the uh, winner of the event overall, winner of this uh, final stage. What a week it's been, four stage victories. And Case Ball tried his very, very best to come off the wheel of Jasper Philipson, but in this form, there's really nothing to touch the flying Belgian. He's in a new place, isn't he? He's in a different stratosphere. And across the cobbles, here in this wonderful location, one of the most important parts of uh, not just Istanbul, but of Turkey, culturally speaking. What an occasion, what a, a venue, what a backdrop. A lead out from Gazzoli as well. Super job done for the Astana squad. Really, uh, only fundamentally benefited uh, Jasper Philipson. Okay, Spall in the second place finish. Had a few of those this week, this year indeed. Lenardi up for third. And they're all in line astern. That's just how demanding that finale was. Very much a sprinter's finish, but nonetheless, it was so tight and twisty. You just got yourself into the line and you know, 
got on the pedals at the right time. Nothing going to touch him.